right, this is where we left it last time. We're actually zoomed right in on one of the feet at the moment. Um, got this little mounting block here for um, one of these tubes here. Um, yeah, the very observant will you notice, will notice I've actually put this around the back instead of the front. Um, that's a bit of a problem, I just noticed that myself, so what I'm going to do to fix that is to drag them all across. Um, set that back to zero. Uh, that tube there to zero. And bring it over. I'm bringing it over. That's why I've done that. That block there is around the wrong way. Um, yours probably is too, so I haven't told you to fix that up. And if you weren't paying attention like me, you've done the same thing. Um, so spin that over 180 degrees. And we actually want to add 18 to that, at least it was. Oops, subtract 18. So that's minus 36 now. That's minus 198. And we can put the same on the other tube. There. So now they're both facing the same way. Um, and we'll just go back and slap them on. About there and there. Um, I'll rotate that box while I'm here, so you can all see what I'm doing. Um, we're on the left foot foot box. We're going to rotate that 180 degrees. And shunt it forward into place. That looks good there. Alrighty, um, we'll make a copy of these tubes here. Um, I'll delete that one, that's gone. Somewhere silly, I have set the wrong keys, I wasn't sure what I was doing. Uh, that's it there, so bring it across to here and we're going to set that P rotation back to zero um, if you're not on that tool there. Um, select that, otherwise it won't rotate. Um, we didn't want zero, we wanted a minus 180 because I'm working back to front on the subject now. Um, hopefully you're not getting too confused by that. Um, I'm thoroughly confused. As you can tell, um, it's all right. I'll sort myself out by the next tutorial, I hope. Um, once again, of course, I'm doing this at about 3 a.m. in the morning. It's actually 4 a.m. now. And we'll drag that across to there. And just got a matter of fitting them in. side by side, um, that will give us some room to uh, play with. Alright, um, I need to show you how to create the tube that's going to connect these. Um, we're going to do that using a spline, but it's going to be a bit tricky first. Um, if we name these, um, you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing. So that's um, top foot connector. Uh, B O T T O M foot connector. Um, it's inside box connector. Um, I say inside because it's on the inside of his leg, and 
that one's outside, um, just name them whatever you want so you can keep track of what you're doing. Um, I'm probably running a bit out of time here. Um, connecting them is a bit tricky, we need to create a sort of curvy line to get it, so to save a bit of time I'll tell you now so you can record all these details for later. Um, you can start it anyone you like. Uh, what we have to do is jot down the position of that point there. Um, if you have a look at the world coordinates, you'll see it gives us 712696-1859, etc. Um, grab yourself a text document or a piece of paper and we need to record the position of those four points. So control C, I've got a text document here I've prepared. Um, it's one of the points of the foot, so control V. It is tedious to record all this and the bad news is we've got to record, enter all this information again. And the bad news is we've got to do it twice because we've got the same four pipes on the other foot. Um, this is the easiest way I've found to do this. I'm um, doing it by eyes. Very difficult. Um, so yeah, just record. Um, top foot connector is what I call the point. So we need that point on the bottom foot connector as well. Um, I'll pause the video here, it's not very exciting watching me copy and paste these numbers across. Uh, I'll come back on the next tutorial and I'll show you how we're going to use these numbers. Um, it's a bit of fun if you've never used um, splines and things before. So stick around, hope this doesn't put you off and we'll see you back shortly.